Nowadays, we take for granted the ability to message and chat with people online. With an infinite sandbox of communication, and by infinite I mean the same three social media websites and Discord, people are able to talk to each other from around the world in an instant. You can say whatever you want on Twitter, something probably no one else wants to hear ever, and just post it for the world to see. But it wasn't always like that. It used to be that you'd be stuck using something like Skype, the worst application ever made, to chat. And before Skype, it was stuff like AIM and IRC and forum posts, and I personally just longed for the days of sending my nudes via passenger pigeon. I miss looking at terrible websites, though, and posting my opinions publicly on 90spokemonforum.net instead of getting banned for posting NSFW memes in Discord general chat. The point is that online communication has changed a lot, and I want to go back in time and read some of the earliest posts I can find on the internet to see what kind of funny ha-has exist. I'm sick of reading boring-ass Reddit posts. I want to see what the old man of today were posting publicly for all to see in the cool, radical 90s. So let's do it. Let's take a deep dive into the ancient World Wide Web, before Reddit gold ruined the world. We should probably start at the source, with the internet's first message ever sent. So obviously this is before forums, this is before people were sharing their spread open buttholes in Discord DMs. This was just a guy testing the internet at UCLA in 1969. And what was his message? The first ever message on the internet sent ever was just L-O. <laughs> L-O. That's it. Just low. Kind of lame. You would hope it would be something cool, you know? The first message on the internet could have been like, you know, fart or something. Something epic, right? Like Fortnite. But it was just login. You know, it was just short for login, except it crashed <laughs> before he could type the whole thing. <laughs> so it was just low. <laughs> That's pretty cool. First message ever. Pretty awesome. This is the archives of Usenet. If you don't know what Usenet is, that makes sense, because if you did, I'd question why a 60-year-old boomer is watching my YouTube videos. But essentially, Usenet is, as far as I can understand in layman's terms, like peer-to-peer -peer bulletin board for people to spread messages on. So this kind of predates the forum. Eventually, in the 90s, people started using forums really commonly, and nowadays, you know, we don't use forums, we just DM each other, because we're not, like, old men. We're not rotting carcasses. But Usenet Usenet is pretty funny, and it's really old. Like, you can get messages on here from the 80s, people just having random conversations. You can search any subject, right? So, I don't know, I could just search ass. Just search the word ass and just kind of see what comes up. A little scared that, that it, like, a giant butthole is just going to appear on my screen. Okay, I've been waiting here for, like, multiple minutes, and it's not loading. So maybe that's the point of this website, is to make it feel like I'm living on the internet in the 80s. Because, <laughs> honestly, to search the word ass in the 90s or 80s or whatever probably would have taken all day with fucking dial-up. But you can go into these uh, subcategories and look at groupings and find posts that way. For example, here there's alt board, alt bondage. <laughs> it's uh, interesting that that's the number two option. You got California, cellular. No one says cellular today. You don't, you know, be like, hey, can you grab my cellular phone? I need to make a phone call. No, you just, you're like, okay, it's my fucking iPhone. But there's a lot of pretty funny stuff in here. For example, I went into alt board and checked out the first post. The most boring town in America. So this was posted in 1996 on January 1st on zero UTC so like literally I don't even know why this person posted this do you have anything better to do it's New Year's Day man isn't this when you like pull out the champagne and start partying but no this nerd posted this right at New Year's this is like a reddit post this very much reminds me of reddit in response to the question does anyone know what the most boring town in America is well I do butthole Idaho I'm sorry folks but yes this is without a doubt the most boring town in our fair land why is he talking like did people really talk like this like 20 years ago actually this is like almost 30 years ago this is without a doubt the most boring town in our fair land and then he went on and back to his peasant job where he used a scythe to chop wheat who says in our fair land he goes on to describe this like terrible town called batol and how it's been in complete downhill trajectory for 94 years i really wonder what batol is up to today anyway some guy just replies batol next you'll be telling me there's a shitsville arizona <laughs> this is literally a reddit comment if I, this is like a you could take this thread and just post it on Reddit, and this this would get top response with a Reddit gold. This would get gilded. This is it, it, this actually makes me very sad because I realized that maybe the internet was actually the same the whole time. It's just a bunch of fucking IT nerds trying to come up with funny dad puns. Like this is a dad joke. Reddit should just rename itself to dadjoke.net. That's all Reddit is. It's just a guy trying to get karma for a dad joke. Look at look at this response. Nope, but I've been to Climax, Michigan though. <laughs> this is the worst, man. They just go through making these jokes. They, they bring up hell michigan which by the way hell michigan is a real place you know for any of the three people still living in michigan i just gave you a shout out
I, I had to click alt.bondage. I just had to click it. I, I don't know if I want to click any of these, but this is like the infancy of the internet. These are spam emails that you get today, but in the 90s. Except in the 90s, if you clicked a spam email like this, you would get a virus that like infected your whole computer and like, you know, infected your whole network and like killed your dad. Dollar, 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 easy money, dollar, dollar, dollar. Let's click this. This is probably good. <laughs> I'm sure you have seen a million of these, but please just read this. If you read this and ignore it, you are passing up the greatest opportunity you may ever <laughs> this is the fairest, most honest way I have seen to share in the wealth of the world. Seriously, people talk like they're from another planet. Like, I know this is like a spam email, but take five minutes to read this and it will change your life. This is like those old uh, chain emails you used to get, you know? If you don't send this to five people, you will die in your sleep tonight. Look at this. The internet has grown tremendously. It doubles in size every four months. Think about it. You see those make money fast posts more and more. That's because it works. <laughs> What's the actual thing here that's selling? Oh my God, look at this. Step one, invest your $5 by writing your name and address on five separate pieces of paper, along with the words, please add me to your mailing list. Fold a $1 bill inside each paper and mail them to the following five addresses. What the fuck? S. Hogan, 36 Prenton. Oh my God, you think this guy's dead? Now remove the number one name from the list and move the other names up. This way, number five becomes number four. And so, this is a fucking riddle. This Did the riddler write this? What the hell am I reading? Post the article to at least 200 news groups. This is actually just like a pyramid scheme on the internet. If I read more of this, I'm gonna, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to take another math class before I figure this out. Look at all this crap though. 24,000 bondage picks. I would click this, but I'm trying not to get on another list. FBI, if you're watching this video, I'm really sorry, man. Please Please forgive me. Mom sucks off male stripper at party. Oh, jeez. I need to click this. This is actually horrible. This is what the Linux nerds were doing? Just saying. I guess this is like 2003. I mean, this is probably the dark pits of Usenet. You know, nobody was using it in 2004. Just like a couple bots just posting this shit. I don't know. They probably didn't have bots. These are like real actual humans. Oh, here we go. Alt.politics. This has got to be a good one. We're going to find some juicy stuff on the political board. Here we go, baby. Oh my god. 1992. Clinton denies all charges. College Democrats. Attention, politicians for hemp. Holy shit, based. Bumber stickers. What is the future of America from 1996? We have to click this. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see what L at, at fuck something. I don't know what his email address is. Larry at fuck.ca. The future for the USA equals total annoyance from other countries, such as um, Canada. You Americans make me sick with your country of the proud and free. Dude, this guy's fucking based. You don't even know where is Canada and what is my capital while on the other side of the bounder. <laughs> Is this a bot? Or are it just like people just don't know how to type? I guess there was no spell check, right? When you were typing on Usenet, you didn't get an easy spell check underscore. This is the Wild West, man. People like your full dumbass brain could be displayed at full tilt. We know where the USA stand on the map, capable of placing Washington, D.C., something many Americans are not able to do, right parenthesis, and a couples of major American cities. Tell me, Mr. USA number one, what is the capital city of British Columbia? Here a clue. <laughs> It is on an island that bear, grizzly bear, the name of our third biggest city. And by the way, the State of the Union address, address sucked big time. Mark Labrinki, University of Ottawa. Wait, no, University. You must not be in the English department, that's for sure. To be honest, uh, Mark Labrinki is very based here. The Union address probably did suck big time. I was hoping I would find like uh, some epic predictions for what the future would be like, but it's actually just a guy like owning this uh, <laughs> this dumb American. This me this one right here is really interesting to me. On forbidden lusts. Like what the fuck does this mean? What the fuck? Look at this. Alt politics, alt politics, homosexuality, feminism, activism, Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> oh God, it's like a poem. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, this guy is insane. What is, what is this? Yawn microbes spread infected bowel. The ruptured gland and blood-stained towel, for nature guides us, us her maids. Her latest truth revealed is AIDS. <laughs> this is just like some homophobic poem by some freak. Oh my god, I don't even know what I'm reading. It's just people talking about AIDS. I guess this was like a bigger deal. I am very frightened to look at girls. I don't know what I'm reading. I actually think people were more unhinged back then. People are just writing AIDS poems, dude. This is a whole thread of AIDS poems. A virus is a mindless thing. Almost as mindless as, oh, you stupid, uncaring, self-appointed judges. Oh my god, this guy's like... 
This guy would love Twitter. I wonder if he's still alive. Peasants with pitchforks coming over the hill. Now with Buchanan's wonderful victory in New Hampshire, the liberal media is livid. This is just an Alex, this is Alex Jones. I think we found Alex Jones' old accounts. Let's take our normal America back from the real extremists. The liberal left, they're turning the frogs gay. Oh my God. L look at that, feminists and homosexuals have had their day. America is ready for change. It turns out like people were actually like, just like they are today. <laughs> Nothing has changed. America's always sucked. I was browsing through alt.music, which is just honestly in the beginning in like these mid 90s, there's a lot of just like, hey, we're selling tickets. Hey, anybody want this old ass magazine? And then I found this fucking thread. One quick question for all you losers. <laughs> and I clicked it. And it's just this guy like trolling in 1996. Why do you guys bother wasting your time all day on your computer? Don't you people have lives? I checked it out for a little while because I got 10 free hours. <laughs> until I realized that the internet is full of losers that waste their time on here all day because they have nothing better to do. And you know what? He's right. This is just so funny. It would be so funny to be a troll in 1996. You could get people so angry so easily. You know, like nobody knew how this stuff worked. You just assume people were being serious, probably. Look at this person. They owned him. A better question might be, don't you have anything better to do than worry about what I do all day? These people were fucking deep. I wish I was this smart. People in the 90s were smarter. Well, that does it. Now I'm gonna go blow my brains out. Jesus Christ, man, they were crazy. It sounds as though you need to grow up a little. Greater than sign. The people were just, they didn't know how to use a keyboard. Every thread I read is truly unhinged. This is just a thread called New Spice Girls Video, right? And in this post, this person's saying they've, you know, found this new Spice Girls video that's not airing and they're willing to uh, take $5 to pay for the postage and send copies. And I just scroll down like two posts and I see the Spice Girls, which Simpsons episodes did they appear in? And a guy replied to it saying, I don't know which episode, but the day it airs is the same day I climb to the top of the local clock tower and start gunning down innocent passers-by what the fuck this is like the fucking dark web these guys are psychotic the groups on usenet are really funny half of them are just misspellings of normal words alt.business 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 and then you just get alt.butharp what the hell is alt.butharp there's 160 fucking pages on alt.butt.harp homer with a duff beer back duff.bmp why are there four fucking posts easy dollar on the net man people just eat up anything look someone had a field day my favorite beer my favorite paperboard my favorite van my favorite season what are these <laughs> they just made a new post for every one of their favorite things old milwaukee it really does taste as great as his name cheap too what more could a bum want <laughs> my favorite paperboard 20 part solid bleach sulfate rarer than its popular sister 24 part 20 part is relegated to this simple, unrewarding, but demanding task. Like an offensive guard. 20 point is never recognized, but the team would shut down without it. What the hell am I reading? My favorite van. 1974 Chevrolet 10 Cargo. No contest. My favorite season. Ball. This is actually amazing. I'm gonna start making content like this, actually. I'm just gonna start uploading videos, like, my favorite drink. And then it's just gonna be three seconds. Dr. Pepper. The color of the Dr. Pepper as it hits my tongue. We will always rely on it. The sweet, sweet Dr. Pep. This is fucking awesome. The old internet was sick. Oh my god, it continues. My favorite casino game. My favorite TV show. My favorite salsa. My favorite full-length record of 96. My favorite porno movie. My favorite canned meat. How do you have a favorite canned meat? Spam. Fried or straight up. Mmm. Delicious. Why would you post this? Is this guy on Twitter? He needs to make a Twitter. I would follow this Twitter immediately. This is fucking content. The content was so good in the 90s, man. Alt.butharp. One of the greatest of all time. Oh my fucking god. I was looking at alt.games and I found this thread about this game, Pog, in 1995. He's probably talking about a game called Pog, but let's just pretend this man invented Poggers. Holy shit. These are some real fucking gamers. This is like gaming on a whole new level. 1991. Mac game, Shadowgate, NASCAR CD-ROM, downloading Doom wads. This is like the oldest shit ever, man. People are just like asking for help. Help, I'm playing Heretic. I can't seem to find the green key for... <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm assuming this is Baldur's Gate or something. This is fucking awesome. This is the part of the internet that is kind of cool. Like, just people just on the old wide web just looking for help on an old game they found in the attic, you know? Well, I guess back then these games were new. Nowadays, you would find these games in the attic. <laughs> There's games that you've heard about, like Myst, you know? Like, I've heard of that SimCity 2000. Does anyone know where I can get cache2000.zip file for SimCity 2000? Thanks. Ron Black. Can you imagine, like, putting your real name in a Reddit thread nowadays? Hey, I need help. I have a problem with my girlfriend. And they post, like, you know, four fucking paragraphs about this marital dispute that should not be aired online. And then you just end it with, thanks, Ron Black. The internet was so innocent and wholesome, man. People were just talking. They were just friends. Nowadays, like, people are behind five alt names, you know? You have an alt account for your alt account. Your name is, like, Furry Star 5000 Holy shit. These are from 1985. Net dot for sale. I don't even know what this is saying. This is just like, this is another language. This is like Star Trek language. 300 B-A-U-D U-D-S modem for sale. Heath H-19. 68,000 development system. C message cancel? Hazeltine 1500. Hey, this guy's selling his stamps. Have U.S. stamp collection. Dude, this was like the coolest shit. If you had stamps, look how much he wants for it. $2,600 for some stamps? This shit's like super out of modern culture, I feel like. I feel like there are no young people that collect stamps. Am I wrong? In 50 years, if this guy tried to sell these exact same stamps, I mean, they would just be like, I don't know, we'll pay you like $5 to recycle them. People are also ending their fucking messages with, with their full fucking name and address and phone number. That's always good. Yeah, this net forum in, in particular, I guess it's not a forum, it's a Usenet, but net dot has some really old stuff on it. This is the early 80s, 1982. People are posting about their fucking Rubik's Cubes because they don't have any games to play. <laughs> it's hard to even find like posts that have replies. Odyssey 2 owners. Look at how they talk. I heartily approve of the no smoking at work rule. No one would say that. I heartily approve. These are just total nerds, man. Total nerds. The gaming pages were, were fucking going crazy, though. Look at all these posts from 1982. What the hell is AD&D? They're talking about Zork. Seriously, this is a, this is a forum page for, for Star Trek Klingons or something. One last Zork question. It's just this one guy on this fucking net.games just posting about Zork every day. Starfleet battles. Th this is seriously, These are this is from another planet. I'm reading alien forum archives right now. Helping others win Zork. A humble request for Zork. What the fuck is a Zork? Spectacular games. Let's take a look at this. I'd like to recommend some spectacular games. These are not computer games. Just plain old paper and cardboard. <laughs> what? Cosmic wimp out? This is depressing. This doesn't seem like what people would be doing in 1983. This is like, I guess these people writing this were most likely adults, right? So this is probably like a 40 year old writing this in 1983. So he's like playing fucking hopscotch. The most fun he could have would just be like circling dots on a piece of paper. Another great category of posts that I've been looking at for the best, honestly an hour, is these future predictions. Like they're all completely unhinged. Earth 2010, radioactive wasteland a la Mad Max. <laughs> this guy, I guess Pablo thought in six years, the world was just gonna end. I recommend to build a bunker and an armored vehicle with several guns installed now and get yourself fuel because soon World War III will fully erupt and many cities will go kaboom. You need weapons to fight off raiders who want your valuables and fuel and cannibals who will want to eat your flesh. I don't think people were okay back then. I think this is actually worse than now. I also found this other one. This is from 2002. This guy's like lays out this giant uh, tree of possible conditions for like humans in like a logical conclusion of utopia, I guess. And dude literally wrote memetic evolution. These guys are talking about memes in 2002. Here's a guy that's just asking how long until photo quality graphics. I mean, I'm still asking this. When the fuck are we going to get? <laughs> But obviously, no one is using Usenet anymore. I don't know, maybe like some 80-year-old freakers are on there. From what I could tell, once you get into like the early 2000s, it's mostly just like spams that are like, make $500 in one second with this easy trick. Click here to download a free car. But, uh, you know, people started transitioning to like Google groups and forums and all sorts of other things to talk to each other on the World Wide Web. At this point, I mean, you could just use Skype or something, but people were freaks. You'd have people posting like, what's the best fight in in anime and then you'd have people debating in the early 2000s. I, I found this one amusing because this guy was like replying to the original post was like, wow, your standards are pretty low for animated fights. Let's see a list of some of my memorable fights and then he lists Naruto Shippuden Naruto and Sakura versus Kakashi and I guess this is funny because Naruto Shippuden was probably barely out at this point but this is like the first fight in the show and it's not good at all. It looks like shit. <laughs> it's literally just like Naruto and Sakura doing like a, like they're meeting Kakashi for the first time in a while. They're just doing a cute little 
little fight to get to remember each other. That's the best fight in all of anime. It was like this tutorial fight. But then you had, you know, classic forum threads like this one. This starts out very normal. It's just a guy asking if it's safe to do a full body workout every other day. Posted in 2008, you know, he's trying to figure things out. He's asking the, the you know, very intelligent minds of forum.bodybuilding.com, and he's trying to figure it out. And at some point, he says that uh, if I go every other day, I will be at the gym four to five times a week. And he's asking if that's overtraining. And some fucking pedantic guy replies to this. He's from fucking Mensa or something. Look at him. His brain is Stevie KM. Three. Look at this guy. I, real bodybuilder right here. He says, that makes no sense. Pedantic Andy over here. There are only seven days in a week. If you go every other day, that is 3.5 times a week. His brain oozing out of his ears because he's so smart. And people start chiming and they like start ganging up on this guy. And some people start, you know, getting into this heated argument. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. That is four days. How do you go 3.5 times? Do you do a half workout or something? This is like a Reddit pedantic argument. I guess if you had this argument today... It would be on Reddit. Justin27 says, Seven times in two weeks equals 3.5 times a week. Genius. And yeah, three times a week. Full body workouts are good. And so the Josh responds in, and this shit gets fucking heated. I never said anything about going exactly seven times. Like I said, if I go every other day, that is four days a week. How hard is that to comprehend? And then he posts this little graphic here to try to get him to understand. Week one, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Week two, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Eight days in two weeks. Four times a week. Genius. All muscle and no brains. Law. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, obviously he double counted the Sunday here. That doesn't make any sense. You double counted Sunday. That is two weeks plus one day. Did you fail grade two math? Grow up and admit when you are wrong. This is just the funniest argument to have. Like in real life, can you imagine having this argument? This is what the internet became. A public fucking breeding ground for arguing over the most inane shit. If someone tried to argue with me about something like this, I would just punch them. This is ridiculous. You, you would just go like, oh, you're right. Sorry. Or you would just move on. It's just very funny. But they get really heated. You know, they start throwing around like slow. Here, fuck, T-A-R-D, read this. Sunday on, Monday, Tuesday on. The, the whole thread is derailed. He doesn't even get any muscle advice. He doesn't get any workout advice. Like, look at this. They're, like, doing complex algebra <laughs> to try to figure out this fucking problem. We need, like, a math professor on the scene. We've come a long way. Nowadays, we just all go into Discord general and, and spam and get banned for posting NSFW. No memes in general. The internet has evolved. It's a very funny place. In my opinion, though, I think we should nuke the entirety of Reddit and just go back to Usenet. <laughs> Fuck this place. So yeah, in some ways, the internet has always been silly, scary, and full of vitriol. It's not like in the 90s people weren't posting dog shit. They just weren't doing it as often. But God, online communication is so interesting. The fact that I can instantly message my friend in another country and get an instant response is very cool. I love trolling people in other continents in real time. Thanks, internet. Oh God, what's that sound? Am I getting a Skype call? No!